Let's make a mojito. Just a traditional recipe, the absolute classic. Step one, take a glass. You're gonna need a long glass, long and narrow. Going straight into that glass, we're gonna add our mint leaves. How many mint leaves you add is dependent on how fresh your mint is. As a rule of thumb, go between three and eight leaves. Once you've got them, give them a big slap in your hand, a big spank. That's just gonna release all the aromas and all the oils within the mint. Drop that right in the glass. All right, going in on top of that, we're gonna go in with 20 milliliters of sugar syrup, which is just a mix of equal parts sugar and water, dissolved, refrigerated, cooled, beautiful stuff. On top of that, it's time for the lime juice. You wanna use fresh, squeezed lime, and we're gonna go in with a single shot, that is 25 milliliters. All that's left is our ice and our rum. So grab yourself some rum, whatever your favorite is, whatever your preferred is. And you're gonna go in with 50 milliliters of rum. Now usually, I would say a white rum. But on this occasion, I happen to have a dark rum on hand. It tastes pretty light, so I'm gonna use that. But just go with a white rum, and you can't go wrong. Now, it's time for the ice. You can do this a lot of ways. Crushed ice, so you can take cubed ice, put it in a towel, give that a hammer, open the towel, and hey ho, you got crushed ice. However, a lot of shops do sell crushed ice. Pre-crushed, look at that. Makes it super simple, saves you a lot of time crushing your own ice. And once you've got that, just fill your glass right up. You wanna leave a little gap at the top, because when we stir this, when we churn it, it's gonna dilute and we need enough space for some soda water. So fill it up, but leave just a tiny gap. Then for stirring, you're gonna take a long spoon, so a bar spoon, like this. Works perfect. If you don't have a bar spoon, use a chopstick, use whatever long, thin, journey thing you've got on hand. Put that in, grab your hand, put that over the top so nothing can get out, and give that a nice, hard churn. You wanna combine all these lovely ingredients. You wanna dilute it, you wanna get it nice and cold. After that, you'll have to top it up a little bit more, so just Pop it up with ice and then grab yourself some soda water to finish it off. Whatever soda water, the cheapest will work. I happen to have a soda stream on hand, so I already have myself some lovely little pre-sparkle soda water. Top it up and then you will give it, once again, one more churn. This time you're just mixing that soda water in and you just want to move the mint leaves so they're not all stuck at the bottom. But just a light stir should do fine. For garnishing it, you want to take a mint sprig and just like we did with the mint leaves, you're going to put that in your hand, you're going to give it a little slap or you can just give it a little shake about, whatever breaks the leaves up a little bit. You'll get that aroma, you'll know you've done it, you'll smell minty fresh. Finish that with a dried lime and there you have it, that right there is your classic mojito. Beautiful stuff. So, only one thing to do, let's have a taste of this, All right? Let's see how this is. There we go, have a little taste. Oh, delicious, super refreshing, super refreshing, enjoy. <laughs>